Today in Providence, hundreds gathered at the State House as part of a global day meant to show solidarity with the Palestinian people. As instability continues in the Middle East, supporters of Israel showed up too. ABC6 News reporter Larilyn Jackson heard from both sides. Organizers are calling this the largest protest for Palestine in Rhode Island yet. More than 1,000 people expected by the end of the day Saturday. It all ended with a vigil at the State House. Organizers considering this a part of a broader message. This is not just something that ends today or tomorrow, but that it will be a lifelong commitment to actually like, be a part of a liberation struggle, not just for Palestine, but for oppressed people everywhere. Meanwhile, members of the Rhode Island Coalition for Israel, like board member Ken Schneider, are pushing back, referencing the terror attacks by Hamas in Israel last October as the anniversary approaches. A year later, uh, as a Jew, as a Jew is all over the world, we still can't believe what happened on October 7th. Nobody is listening to them. We came out here today to show them that we know what, what they're up to, what, we know what's going on, and we need to push back. Leading up to the protest, Rhode Islanders hosted a series of events, including art display, dances, and fundraisers for people in Gaza. Organizers say the protest is just the beginning of a week-long series of actions across Rhode Island, with participants calling for lasting change. Reporting in Providence, Larilyn Jackson, ABC6 News.